Hello, my insane raccoon army, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hello, how you doing? I'm not doing great. I got this cold brew coffee, and I am obsessed with it, and it's ruining my life. It's like a lot of coffee that I've had in the last day. So today I am filming this video because things have not gone exactly as I planned. It's just my entire uploading schedule has kind of been like ruined because of this. What the, what, it, we, we talked about this. Well, last week a lot of you noticed that I uploaded a Makeup Basics video. Um, and this is obviously not a Makeup Basics video. I was actually not planning on uploading my makeup, start uploading the Makeup Basics videos until July. Um, so why did you upload it in June? Well, um, I was planning last week to upload an Ipsy bag review. Um, and I had recorded it, I had edit, started editing it, it was almost done. Um, and I had all these graphics and prices and all this stuff to like be like, oh, this is how much it's worth and this is what you're getting and this is what you pay for and blah, 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 blah. So much research and time and effort went into this. And like I went through, I extensively used these products, like a lot. I used these products a lot. Um, so I could get a really good feel for all of them and give really accurate information on these products. And then Ipsy uploaded this video. And for those of you who don't know, or maybe didn't pay attention, it kind of came down pretty quickly. Like I think within like 12 hours of uploading it, they took it down. Um, so essentially what happened is in this video, Ipsy, like right at the beginning, said that there's a range of women from trans women to authentic cis women. There was a lot of fallout from that one comment. What really set it in stone though was that they were, Ipsy was deleting the comments of trans people and LGBTQIA plus advocates who were commenting saying, hey, that's a transphobic statement and it's not really an okay thing. That's not something you should be saying. The trans women are authentic women. They're just not cis women. There's a difference, but that doesn't mean they're not authentic. And Ipsy was deleting their comments. I know this because I'm friends of a lot of trans women. So my entire, my entire timeline start to finish was spammed with trans women screenshotting where they had commented and then the comment was gone and they go to click on the notification where people had like liked it or commented under it and it would click them back to this post has been removed even though the video was still up at the time. Shortly following after all of this, Ipsy took the video down. They issued a apology that said Basically, oh, we made a mistake and blah, 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 The girl who said it in the video uh, actually personally apologized. She said, I, when I said that, that's not what I meant. And I really wasn't thinking that much about the words. And this is my mistake. That's very bad wording on my part. So basically where that brings us to is Ipsy's apology, where lots of people were still commenting that you know, just because you're apologizing doesn't make that, doesn't just all of a sudden undo what you did, and la da 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 And Ipsy was going and deleting those comments too, and then there were screenshots of people trying to lead to their things, and it would come back as, this has been removed. So there's this pattern of removing people's comments who are complaining about your transphobic actions. You shouldn't be doing that. So that leads me to the place where I am at of, I have these products I was planning to review. 
what I can honestly say is that I had this very in-depth, this was like going to be a 25, maybe 30 minute video. Um, it was very long. I had like 50 something graphics to put in um, and like prices and like how much money you were saving per bag. Um, it was a lot. It was very in-depth. And I was really excited and very proud of the editing and very proud of all the effort and research that went into it because I went and found every single product um, in their actual form uh, and like found those prices and then I did the math for, you know, like if the sample size you got is like half an ounce, is like half an ounce and the full size product is a full ounce. I like have the price and so like that. I did like all that fun stuff so that you guys could know exactly what you're getting, how much you're getting, how much of a deal you're getting, and how much of a bargain you were getting for the IPS my bags. Um, so on a level, I'm very very frustrated because beauty is supposed to be beautiful and makeup and the world of makeup is supposed to be pretty and fun and glamorous and everyone should feel inclusive but 2018 has really taught us that that's just not the case like with Tarte Shape Tape Foundation that just did not have any colors for anybody who isn't my tone and now with you know there's been several other cases of things like that happening and then the ipsy bag thing and it's just it's a lot of that stuff um, and that's very frustrating for me because I was really getting ready to like step forward and support this brand and say, you know, you guys are great and I love your company and I love your products and it's very very difficult because I honestly it was a very good review it was a very positive review I had a lot of positive things to say about Ipsy I actually really loved my experience with Ipsy and the customer service the adaptation the way the bags adapted to the feedback I was giving a majority of the products I think out of all the products I got there were like two or three that I just really didn't like um, and that's a that's a pretty good ratio of products like I think there's like 15 That's like 15 products out of 15 products. I only disliked two of them it, It's disheartening and it's very not fun to sit here and say that I can't support this brand um, Because of the way they handled the situation it's you know They did in fact handle it. they did in fact issue an apology They did in fact try to move forward, but then in the same breath, they're deleting comments of people saying, you know, of um, raising their voice saying things are transphobic while the video was up and then after the apology was posted, they were, you know, taking down those comments. That's a very frustrating thing to sit there and watch that happen, like in live time. I really hate wasting my time because I don't have a lot of it. So basically where this brings me is that I'm not going to have any of the Ipsy bag or Ipsy bag products on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, anything like that. They're not going to appear in any videos. They're not going to appear in any of my speed paint videos. I will not tag them in any of my posts. And it's just, I'm not going to be using these things. And I will most likely be giving a majority of these products away so that I'm not tempted to put them in a video. And it's really unfortunate because you know, I just actually really loved some of these products. It's very hard to do this because I don't like giving negative reviews. I don't like giving negative feedback. I don't like saying negative things about people or brands publicly because I feel like when you're negative like that, it brings negativity back into your life. And I try very hard to remain a positive person and have a positive outlook on life. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm not acknowledging or fighting, you know, problematic behaviors. Um, but for me, I just cannot support or even give praise to a brand that not only said transphobic things, then when people tried to 
say, hey, that's transphobic. They were, those comments were deleted and then they took the video down, issued the apology and people were like, hey, why were you deleting comments? Why were you doing this? They have not said really anything about it and they're just moving forward like this didn't happen. Um, and honestly, I'm not seeing any videos on YouTube about it really. I, saw, I think I saw one video. Um, it was a, I don't remember his name, honestly. There is one YouTuber I have seen that did a video specifically dedicated to this. It's this Latin guy. I don't remember his name. I don't remember his his handle. Um, and then the only other person I have seen uh, mention it is Jen Love's review. But it's still somebody talking about the issue on YouTube, I've seen lots of people on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and Facebook, but really no one on YouTube. And Ipsy does have a really big place in the beauty community um, because you know, you have like Nikita Dragon and Gabriel Zamora and you even have big, bigger name. Like uh, I think Laura Lee has even appeared in like IPSY related videos. So a lot of beauty gurus are a little bit um, tiptoey around Ipsy because it's such a big brand and it's so involved with the YouTube community. So I don't give a fuck. Not only did they make a mistake, they made multiple mistakes over the course of a few hours of deleting comments and then not addressing why they were deleting these comments and then further deleting comments, questioning why comments were deleted. So that's where I stand and they're obviously not going to address it. So that's why I did this, filming this, that's why I'm filming this anti-review. Um, and I hope that I never again have to film an anti-review where I was planning to fully review a product uh, and give good praise to it. And then I have to get up here and say, don't buy this product because of their problematic behavior that they're, you know, only, sl they're, they're not really addressing. Um, it really, what it seems like is they were trying to capitalize on pride and capitalize on LGBT people and it blew up in their face and they don't want to acknowledge that. So, I mean, that's all there is to it. You know, you were trying to capitalize on pride, it didn't work out, and then you tried to sweep it under the rug and it's not really working. I really do genuinely feel like a lot of people have expressed all over the internet, except for YouTube, that uh, uh, the only reason they actually took down the video and issued a, a, you know, a apology was because they lost a large number of subscribers. So that's where I stand and that if that's your only motivator to be a good, to be a good person or to recognize that you've made mistakes or that you have made a mistake, that you're not someone that should be getting any of my money or any of my subscribers money or any of my followers or anything like that so that's what i'm going to tell you guys to if you have an ipsy a bag subscription cancel it go get someone else there's like boxy charm and a bunch of them there's like 30 something different boxes or bags that you can get that are approximately priced similar i will no longer be <laughs> supporting I, the Ipsy bags and I will encourage all of you to cancel your subscriptions and to move on to a, another brand and that's the only thing I can say really about it. Beauty should be beautiful and this is ugly. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, that means you have joined my insane raccoon army. I'm the worst creator here on YouTube um, because I named my I named you guys raccoons. And you head over to my Patreon, you can support me for one, five, or ten dollars a month, and that is where I upload videos similar to the YouTube ones, but they're more like vlogs and they're Patreon exclusives. And it's like I upload part of the vlog every single week, and they're all uploaded into different parts, and you get a little bit of part every single week. And there's also a mystery box prize that is given away at the end of the month. So if you guys want to support me and you want access to these exclusive vlogs and access to these drawings, please head on over to my Patreon and you can look at all of the different available 
and I love and appreciate every single person who is a member of my Patreon and supports me as an artist. Your support and love does more for me than you guys really even understand. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful, and happy rest of your Pride Month.